slithered away from me. I've got you this time. Every time! Oh! Hello! What? Ain't you ever seen a ghost before? No, I... I mean, yes, of course. I just wasn't expecting... What? A girl? No, I guess I was expecting something scarier. Oh, like the Bloody Baron, right? All moody and whatnot. Something like that. I'm sorry, uh, who are you? Willa Weeholt, Hufflepuff Seeker. Well, I was, a century ago, I think. I've lost track. <laughs> Not you! It's your snitch I'm after. Bit obsessed with it, really. Have been ever since I made Seeker. I just wish my broom weren't so bloody slow. You seem pretty fast to me. I couldn't even see you. Really? Uh, thanks. Must be because I mucked about with the charms to make mine faster. In my day, we didn't have those fancy racing brooms you have now. <laughs> uh, you should see the clunkers Madame Hooch makes us use. Still better than what I've got. That's why I pushed mine to the limit. Past it, actually. Which proved to be... problematic. Uh, not exactly. I was on my own moon to Great room, especially with my adjustments, which I perfected just in time for the final pass cup match. It was wicked. I was on the snitch in no time. I almost had to get the grass, but I was obsessed with catching the snitch. I didn't notice what was right in front of me. Which was... The ground. One minute I was chasing the snitch, the next... Oh, ouch. So, you didn't have anything to do with my broom malfunctioning, did you? Course not! I'm a ghost, not a poltergeist. Can't touch any brooms other than this one, sadly. Oh, right. Sorry. Truth is, when I saw you with your slow poke of a snitch, which isn't right, by the way, did you know that? Yes, I know. Well, anyway, it gave me hope. If I could catch this one snitch, get my hands around it, break the cycle... Ah, oh, who am I kidding? It's impossible. I'll never catch one. I'm sorry. I, I wish there was something I could do. So do I. She's been flying around the pitch ever since. Chasing snitches she can never catch. That's so sad. I can't believe no one's seen her before now. I'm sure they have, but didn't know it. She's mostly just a blur. I only saw her clearly because she's slowed down to try and catch my snitch, which is barely flying now. At least that's one mystery solved. Unfortunately, we still have the malfunctioning magic issue. Yeah, and it's getting worse. My monster book of monsters didn't even try to bite me this morning. I heard that Professor Flitwick declared the brooms curse-free. The enchantments that are supposed to make them fly simply aren't there anymore. He doesn't know what caused it. I still feel like this is my fault. Everything was fine until... Hmm. Did you hear? The harpies are coming! Harpies? What are you talking about? The Holyhead Harpies! Kevin's mum's team? They're coming tomorrow along with some other Quidditch pros. It's finally happening! I didn't know it was so soon. And get this! There's going to be a student race around the castle at sunset. Do you know what that means? That the hospital wing will be full by midnight? No. It means we get to show off our skills in front of everyone, including the pros. Wait till they see me fly. That does sound exciting, but is it a good idea? 
We still don't know who or what tampered with our brooms. Are you still on about that? We got new brooms. Better brooms. There's a stack of them in the Quidditch tent. Which reminds me, I gotta study Elliot's journal to see if there are any speed tips. See ya! You mean your ghost friend? I thought she didn't see anything. Not her. The house elf. She was in here cleaning up the other night, before I met Willa. She seems rather skittish, so try not to startle her. Hello? Please don't disappear. We just want to ask you a question. Students want to be asking us a question? Yes. We want to know about the brooms. The school brooms. Did you see anyone tampering with them before our first class? No, we did not. We is the only one here, cleaning and mending. Mending? What needed mending? Broomsticks. They is very dirty because no one is cleaning them over the holiday. And some is getting old and worn. Scratches and dents and tiny holes in the wood. So we is fixing them. That's strange, isn't it? Maybe not. The school brooms are used a lot. I'm not surprised they need fixing by the end of the year. Is we doing something wrong? No, not at all. And thank you. You've been very helpful. I wonder if mending the brooms would have damaged the flying charms. Seems plausible. I don't know. But I bet Mr. Farrell would. Kevin said he was coming tomorrow, so we can ask him then. In that case, we better get some sleep. It's going to be a big day. Oh my! No brooms is needed mended too! Wow, look at them go. I didn't know brooms could fly that fast. Oh, they're just cruising. Wait till you see them dive for a snitch. It'll blow your robes back. Oh, look! Team mascots! Apparently, the Bankry Bangers also bought a dragon. But it wasn't allowed on school grounds due to safety concerns. It's just a mascot. What's the worst that could happen? Well, it's a dragon, so... Lots of things, but bad things. Who cares about the mascots? Come on, let's get a picture with Zola. Kev, let's ask your mum if I can ride her broom. Ugh, I think I'd rather meet the dragon. heading to Hawksmeade if you want to join them. Some of us are going to get a little extra flying in before the race tonight if you want to join. Maybe. I'll catch up later. Suit yourself.
Hey, Hagrid! Hello, Hagrid. I didn't know you were a Quidditch fan. Oh, well, I mostly came by for the mascots. One in particular. Let me guess. The Banger's Dragon? Shame they couldn't bring her onto the grounds. Of course, if someone were to wander into the forest a wee bit, they wouldn't be disappointed. Just, uh, don't tell the headmistress. Oh, hey, aren't you gonna join in on the race? I'm not really in the mood. Actually, I feel a lot like this snitch. What's wrong with it? We don't know. Presumably the same thing that's making a lot of other magical items not work. Magic not working, you say? Like them brooms? Hmm, I wonder. Where did you get this from? The old brooms were stored in here. They had some minor wear and tear, but otherwise seemed all right. Until we tried to fly them, that is. Wear and tear, you say? Little holes in the wood, maybe? I think so. Why? Do you know what that means? Of course I do. It's Chizpurfles. We little fellas can't hardly see them. They're attracted to anything magical. They'll chew through a wand just to get to the core. They must have had a go at your brooms. And then they moved on to other things, like the bludger, and Lottie's brush, and my golden snitch. Yep. Surprised no one noticed the bite marks. Someone did. One of the house elves mended the brooms so there was no evidence of the damage. And since the Chizperfels moved on to other things, there was nothing left for Professor Flitwood to find. That's it! You're a genius, Hagrid! Well, these look fine. No bite marks here. That's a relief. Wait. The house elf was here last night. If she noticed any damage... Can I see that broom, Hagrid? Up. Up! Oh no. She must have mended the new brooms too. They could all be infested. And my friends are using some of them for the race. I need to stop them before someone gets hurt. Wait, don't fly! The new brims are infested with chiz purples! Chiz... what's it? What are you talking about? Chiz purples. They're tiny creatures that attack magical objects. That's why the brooms and everything else failed. They're chewing on the parts that are enchanted. Are you sure? This broom seems okay. It might now. But if it was infested before, it could fail at any time. But Robin already took hers for a test flight. If a broom fails... We need to warn her. But how? If we can't use the brooms, uh, how do we find her? I have an idea. I don't know if this will work. 
but it always attracted her before. <sighs> oh, it's you again. I should have known. Sorry, Willa, but we need your help. Our friend Robin is flying around the castle on a broom that might fail. We need to warn her before she crashes, and none of these brooms are safe to fly. Oh, all right. I'll look for her. But you might want to find a broom that flies. I can't exactly rescue her if she's dangling from the rooftops. My mum is in Hogsmeade. I can go get her. That'll take too long. Why don't we just, uh, borrow one of the professional brooms? I might have a better idea. I kept a broom separate from the others. It seemed fine, so... Maybe it's not infested. But if it is, you could end up just like Robin. It's a risk, but... What other option do we have? It goes? Come on, let's go. Right. Better make it quick. I stood up the banger's mascot with my chase me for a bit, but I got away. Still wouldn't want to run into them up here. Uh, too late.
Finest hour. Spiders, Cornish Pixies. Thank you again for your help, Willa. I couldn't have done it without you. I can't imagine facing down a live dragon. He was scary enough as a ghost. How about your wee pest problem? Got that sorted yet? The castle is being treated for the Chispurfle infestation as we speak. Thankfully, no one blames me. That's nice of them. Just don't go missing the snitch half a dozen times. No one forgives you for that. Oh, uh, about that. I have a surprise for you. Kevin's dad helped fix it. I had an idea. Go on. Try to catch it, but slowly. Cup it in your hands. Uh, don't grab at it. <gasps> the wing vibrations! They're so fast, it's like... Uh, I can almost feel the snitch in my hands! <laughs> 